pre-emergent application two. Don't go away. Hey team, welcome to Lawn Journeys. It's Russ, nice to have you guys back. Um, you may recall um, in early March, I did a granular pre-emergent application to my property. I did it at half the bag rate um, because I was doing a split application. I am following up today with the Sunnyland Prodiamine WDG, which is a uh, dispersible granule um, sourced through Yard Mastery. Link is um, below. Um, we're going to be applying this today at also at a half rate, um, which is the second part of my application. And one of the benefits of the backpack sprayer is I will be able to mix this and apply this um, at a more specific application rate to get proper coverage of the liquid. This isn't recommended to um, spray with a hose end sprayer, okay? Um, you need to be a little bit more precise um, with your liquid applications. You don't want to under apply, you don't want to over apply. Um, I'm also going to be combining this today with a Green County Fertilizer uh, microgreen application. Um, this is a foliar application, so I'm going to leave it on my grass. I'm expecting rain tomorrow, um, which will um, eventually water this in and activate the prodiamine. I may um, turn my irrigation on later um, if we don't get enough rain um, tomorrow. So I will get this watered in. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about the product. Okay guys, the Prodiamine 65 WDG is a pre-emergent herbicide. Um, it's a water dispersible granule. Um, I, uh, I have sourced it from Yard Mastery where it has been packaged in a five ounce bottle, um, specifically um, made available for DIYers. Um, and I thank Alan Hain and Yard Mastery for making this available. Um, Prodiamine is a pre-emergent. Um, it's generally used in spring and fall to stop um, problem grasses and weeds and lawns. That um, primarily includes uh, crabgrass. However, there are a number of other um, weeds. There's a long list of weeds, which uh, if you visit the Yard Mastery site are uh, referenced. Um, again, there is a link in the, in the notes. Um, this is a professional formulation and it is recommended to use in the spring um, prior to crabgrass emergent, emergence, um, which we know um, generally the rule of thumb is the 50 to 55 degree uh, temperature. That's when things start to germinate. I'm a little bit farther along now. My soil temperatures have passed that, but I did get my first granular application down. So I am now doing the second half of my application, which um, we're calling a split application. Uh, because it's split, um, for Kentucky bluegrass, the recommended application rate is 0.183 ounces per thousand square feet. Um, that equates to 5.2 grams, okay? So I have my uh, scale here. At 5.2 grams, my first zone is 3,300 square feet. So 5.2 times 3.3 is 17.16. So I'm gonna be looking for 17 grams of material. So I have uh, turned my scale on, it's set to grams. I'm going to place my cup on it and tear it. So it's set to zero. I have to hold it. There we go. So that's 17 grams. Okay guys, so I have approximately a gallon of water in the backpack sprayer. I have my 17 grams of prodiamine in this cup. I'm going to pre-mix it. Okay, as you can see, it should turn a nice bright yellow. I'm going to pour that in. So that's enough for my 3,300 square feet. I was kind of mocking some of the guys with the mixers on the drills. But as you can see, if you shake this thing up without the lid, it surely would come flying out. So we have that pre-mix going on. A microgreen application. So I'm going to go 8 ounces per thousand, so I'll be applying approximately 24 ounces. So there are 16.
I kept the strainer on just in case there was anything nasty in the microgreen, any clumps or anything that was going to come out, which was not the case. And I will now fill this backpack sprayer to the full volume for my application. And what I found with this tip is I am using approximately four gallons to cover that 3,300 square feet. Um, and that's fine. The fact of the matter is I have enough of the prodiamine in there for 3,300 square feet and microgreen. So I'm gonna go to the full four gallons here because I seem to be spraying um, with the backpack sprayer uh, my initial experience with this tip is that I am using a little bit more than a gallon per thousand square feet. So as long as the materials that I've added to it are the appropriate amount where I can cover the square footage in one pass, then I know that my application rate is correct. All right, guys. Ready to rock and roll. Got my T-Jet on. Link is also below if you want to see it again. Um, I do have my uh, gloves on because I am dealing with a herbicide so I put those on um, before I even open the product I am wearing long pants and uh, have my arms covered second foray with the backpack sprayer uh, my first zone is 3300 square feet I mixed the appropriate amount of product for 3300 square feet I put it in four gallons in the backpack sprayer. What I did find was because I am putting some ass into it, now I'm hanging. I think that's funny. Um, I covered it without using it all. So I actually sprinted through and did a second round. So I think the next time I apply in my first zone, 3,300 square feet, I'm gonna mix three gallons and see if I can time that out. It's all about the tip, the pressure, and your walking pace. Now, I did get a full second coverage walking at a faster pace, so I feel as though I got the proper um, concentration down of the prodiamine for the square footage as mixed. Um, so that's why I recommend um, you start experimenting with your backpack sprayer, either do a bucket test or spray something that's not as scientific like I did my first application with humic acid. If you put it down a little heavy, uh, it's not doing anything. It's, it's only going to enrich the soil further. Um, so that's the story with that. Um, so today I got my second split application of prodiamine down. Um, link is available if you guys want to check it out. Um, I did my first granular back in March. I just did my second. And according to the concentration that I just laid down, I'll put the information on the screen. This should give me, I think, another three to four months of uh, pre-emergent coverage, which I'm um, coming into May. That takes me probably into end of August, early September, which is what I wanted um, because I usually do an overseed in the fall. And I usually start the preparation process in August and get the seed down early in September. <clears throat> you don't want a prodiamine residual in the soil if you're going to be doing seeding. Um, they also usually don't recommend using a pre-emergent if you have a new established lawn, be it sod or seed. So some people that overseed will not do a pre-emergent in the spring. I'm doing it just because I can't stand the crabgrass. So, um, so um, you know. Uh, you guys leave some comments. Let me know if you've seen any drastic differences in your overseed projects when you do a spraying pre-emergent um, versus when you don't. Like I said, um, backpack sprayer is going to be a big part of my liquid applications this summer. I do have an unboxing video I'm um, working on trying to get it, trying to get it completed, um, just to show you, you know, how it comes, what's assembled, what's not. So anyway. Um, as far as the prodiamine being activated, it needs to be watered in. That's the one downfall of using the backpack sprayer. Um, you do get precision coverage, and I wouldn't recommend doing a liquid prodiamine using hose end bottles. But if you want to, you know, use the other bio stems with the hose end bottles, that's great. Um, it waters it in as you go. So I could flip my irrigation on now, or I'm expecting some rain tomorrow. I probably will just wait um, for the rain because I did apply microgreen with this, which is a foliar application, and it should stay on the grass for 
24 hours. It's absorbed through the leaves. Um, that also has 3% iron in it. So with that and the flagship, which I just put down, I'm expecting um, a big rush of dark green. So uh, subscribe to the channel, stick around, and uh, look for my updates. I'm also on Instagram, and you can link to uh, some Facebook posts and uh, a little supporting information on a website. Um, it's all available in the notes if you care to care to check it out. Uh, but my, I'm primarily here on YouTube. So uh, that's it, guys. Get out there and get it done. See you guys next time on Lawn Journeys.